Hello guys, I'm coming to you from possibly the most random place. I'm just sitting in my lounge and I was just about to donate a bunch of stuff to our secondhand store in my city. Since I've been doing so many thrift store themed videos, I thought I may as well show you guys what I'm donating because I had a bit of a clear out. Honestly, I'm quite a clear out person, I suppose, because I do buy thrifted items and I get sent a lot from PR, I guess just random nicks and nicks. I just seem to always acquire stuff really quickly that I don't necessarily need so I feel like I'm always donating stuff to hospice. That's the name of our charity shop in New Plymouth, our main one, and it is supporting the hospice, like the hospital sort of area. I'm sure you guys know what the hospice is, um, but it's called the hospice shop so all the proceeds go towards the hospice. By the way, this isn't like a look at me, I'm donating stuff type video. like. Pretty much everyone donates to secondhand stores, so it's not like I'm doing anything overly special. I just thought you guys might be interested to see what I'm clearing out and why. So let's just get into it. There's so much random stuff here. Also, I'm hoping by going through this, I don't want to keep it again because you know sometimes when you don't have the context of it being amongst all your other clothes, then you're like, oh, like why did I get rid of this? So we're not doing that today. We are not doing that. First thing I'm donating is this. I got this in my channel very first, started at university, and Ron Wee sponsored me for a video, and I just got to pick out clothes in exchange for like promoting them, and I was so excited. But I've kept it that long. I actually do really like it. It says like London, Tokyo, Paris on the bottom. Oh, this has a little drink bottle in it too. I'm also donating this. I just know if I'm going to wear a backpack, I would wear the other one that I have over this, even though I do think this is still really cute. I'm just being practical. We don't have the biggest house and I don't have the most storage space in the world for my belongings. So I'm being really ruthless with what I get rid of because I just don't want to keep stuff just in case I wear it one day. It's like, no, if you aren't gonna wear it, like say if right now I needed to pick out a backpack, if this isn't the one I'm gonna pick at any given day, I'm not gonna keep it. I just don't wear backpacks a whole lot anyway, and then when I do, I don't think I'll pick this one, even though it holds like a near and dear spot in my heart now, I just wanna keep it again. See, I knew this would happen, but it's really cute. So even like someone in school could hopefully pick this up and use it. This is just a surf life-saving drink bottle, and I just thought someone might want a drink bottle for the gym, so I'm donating that. Um, we only used it once and I personally didn't like the like sippy part because you can't get much water out at once. Donating this clutch here. I got this years ago from like Lovisa or Colette. I got it from Colette. And again, a really nice clutch that hopefully someone can pick up for like 50 cents or a dollar and enjoy. It's still in really nice condition. I just have other bags that I use instead of this now. It's not really a color that suits my complexion and it's not really a color that I wear very often. I also have this jumper here. I'm pretty sure this was off Romwe or one of those similar like Chinese websites. And this one I bought myself. I didn't order off there like maybe a year ago. It says Acne Studios on it, but it's definitely not an Acne Studios jumper. And I really liked the collar of it. It seems really random, but it's so cozy in winter and you can like zip up the collar, hang on to it for way too long because it's just really cozy, but it doesn't really suit me. So that's a nice jumper. I also have a belt. I think this one was from Hospice originally, but I just didn't wear it. You know, that whole trend of like high-waisted denim shorts and like the little belts for festivals and stuff, but never even wore it, like that's not even my style. I also have this belt here, which who remembers when these were in fashion? This is from Portman's. I have not worn this in years and I don't think I'm gonna be wearing it anytime in the next like decade. I don't know, I just, it's not even really my style. I just thought I would donate that. What is this? Oh, this is a jumper. Again, I got this recently from Misguided. This is what I was saying about in my Dior handbag video. I've made so many fashion choices in the past. Like I buy stuff just because it fits me well or it's on trend, but it doesn't necessarily reflect my own style. I hate wearing blue, but I still bought this because I liked the cropped like design of it. Um, but I actually have a Tommy jeans jumper that's the exact same. It just has the Tommy jeans logo here. And I thought, don't really need to, like when there's one that I'd prefer to wear over this one. Something else I got from the hospice. I dressed up as Britney Spears from Hit Me Baby one more time, was it? No. One where she's like in school. My loneliness. I don't think it's the same song. No, that is the right song, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, I had like a little checkered skirt and this is like exactly the same as the Cardi she wore. So I bought this, it was like $5 from hospice. So I'm just re-donating it because again, this is like what I used to wear in high school, like these cardigans. By the way, if you're wondering about my makeup, which you're probably not, I pretty much look like a fetus because I'm not really wearing any. I just put in a tiny bit of brow pencil, like this blunt eyebrow pencil, so they look really furry. If I come up close, you can probably see better. Mascara, 
and this lipstick is the Nicki Minaj. Is it called the pink print? It's the MAC Cosmetics one. This is another jumper that is so comfy, but totally did not sit right on me. This is like a size 12, I think. It's way too big for me. I got it to be oversized, but you know, sometimes you get oversized things and they just sit wrong. Like, it just doesn't really look that good, but it's by Stussy, which is like a surf shop brand, and it's really cute. I have the matching track pants, which I'm keeping, but this is just not really that flattering, and it's weird. It looks like it's a hoodie, but then it doesn't have a hood. It's just like a bit unusual, so I'm going to donate that. Oh, we have a lot of stuff to go through. Um, next thing I'm donating is this pink velvet. What am I even saying? This is not velvet. It's like satin look jacket. I got this off Lola Shootique. It cost me an arm and a leg, and then like two weeks later, Glesson started stocking them, and I was like, God damn it. I wore this to a Mecca Maxima event, and it was really cute. But I just don't really think this color suits me. Like you can see right now, it makes me look really washed out. With a fake tan, it's okay, but it just looks cheap. It looks cheap to me. I don't really know why I got it. I think it was like on a whim. And it looked good with that one outfit I wore it with, but I don't see myself wearing it again. It's just not a flattering color on me and it looks poorly made. Like, I don't know. It just looks cheap and I don't really like it anymore. Next I have some shorts. These are just those boutique -y shorts. I mean, I can't even really be bothered to unfold them because I'm sure you guys know what I mean. Remember when everyone had shorts like this and like the matching tops? I think I've kept the tops that match these, but honestly, like I could have slapped these together and sew in class. They're so poorly made. Like, can you see the tag? They're, they're so see-through, like short, way too short for me. My butt would hang out of them. I have so many cute pattern socks now that are ankle socks and I prefer ankle socks. So I'm just donating those. They're like new, I've never worn them. This is another belt I bought because they were like in fashion and it just doesn't really suit me. You know, those like Kardashian belts. I mean, I don't know. I've got to be careful what I wear because if I wear stuff that's too florally, I look like I'm really young. Like if I was wearing this right now, I just don't like that look. I like to look more sophisticated. Not to say I don't like floral stuff, but I still really know why I got it in this print. So that's it for that bag and I also have a little card holder, which I think Shannon has a matching one of this to me, but it's kind of gone a bit cracked here. I just think someone would probably still like it, but pick it up for like 50 cents or something. So I'm donating it, um, but I have a Louis Vuitton card holder now, so I don't use this anymore. Beanie. This beanie, I think I'm going to see if my mum wants it because my parents co-own the Joe's Garage franchise and I got this really cute beanie. I remember my mum was jealous because she wanted one, but I don't know, it just, it doesn't really suit me. Like, I don't want to ruin my hair. Like, I look like a Santa's elf or something, I don't know. It just, it doesn't really work on me. But I don't really want to donate it because I think these sold out really fast and they were hard to get and someone from my family wanted it, so I'm gonna actually leave that out. Next I have this top, which I've worn a bunch of times, but red is really not my color. And I feel like this just looks cheap. It's from Zara and it says, insert your fries here. Just when I wear it, it doesn't look very put together. Like it's kind of gone like an off-white color and it's really hard to get creaseless. And I don't know, it's just not really my style anymore. It's very cutesy and like more of a high school style, I guess. Um, I just can't really pull off this kind of stuff. Like I said, it makes me look really young, but this is a really cute shirt. Actually, I might keep these out for my friend Britt because she loves pants like this. They're like those MC Hammer like fat pants. I'm gonna see if she wants them. These I didn't buy. My mum just had a huge wardrobe clear out. I have a little makeup case. Again, something from PR. I just found the lipstick. Yeah, it's the pink print. That's the one I'm wearing. It's really pretty. It's almost like I've got no fake tan on and it's almost a bit too light even. I feel like if you were a woman of color, it would be really hard to pull off, but then again, Nikki wears those really washed out pinks, so I suppose it's like her signature color, but oh, it smells so good. I love the smell of MAC lipsticks. Next, we have some shoes I'm donating. These are both nude shoes. I was running out of space on my shoe racks, and I just thought, you never wear these, and they're so cute. They look really chic on. They lace up over the heel, but they're very stiff here, and then there's no like ankle support. They're just very, very uncomfortable shoes, not very practical at all, and I don't actually wear them. I think I wore them one time and I got really sore feet, just really sore. You can barely walk in them. And I also have this pair here, which are nude, and they're from Boohoo. I wore these for a New Year's Eve party a few years ago. It was like a cocktail party, and they were really pretty, but I remember my feet were just killing me. They are so uncomfortable, and they have the lace up the leg detailing, which always slides down on me. 
Like I don't understand how they're supposed to stay up. If this was a lesser amount of clothes, I would try them on for you guys to show you, but there's just so many that would be here all day. It would be such a long video. This dress here, again, it's from Boohoo. This is the Boohoo tall range. It's comfy, but I've got other t-shirt dresses that reflect my style better. Like it's one of those things if I wear it out of the house, I don't really feel on and I don't feel good. I feel like a bit of a bum. What is this? Oh, this is another t-shirt dress. So I got rid of quite a few. Again, it's not my style. Like I don't really wear red or yellow and it doesn't do anything for me. Like it doesn't look good necessarily. It's just cool. Like I just bought it because I thought it was cool. And then this breaks my heart. But the two play suits that I have from Shannon's White Fox collection. Someone's gonna be so excited once they find these at the secondhand shop if they're like a teenage girl. I have to donate them. The black one and the white one. I don't know. Like when I tried them on, I felt like they were okay, but I actually wore them to wore them to wear. It makes no sense, but you know, I wasn't just stationary standing trying it on, like, oh yeah, like it does fit, like willing myself for it to fit but they just cut me up the middle too much and that's why I don't buy play suits online. I'll maybe make the odd exception if the model's like 5'11 and it looks kind of roomy, but these ones, they do cover my bum. Well, the black one doesn't really, that kind of shows a slither of bum, but this white one, and I'm so sad because Tamara really liked this on too. This white one actually covers my bum in terms of the fabric, but when I sit down, it like slices me up the middle, if you guys know what I'm saying, and it's just like, it's not comfortable, like, it would be, I could wear it, but it wouldn't be very comfortable and that's not anything wrong with these clothes. It's just the fact that I'm so tall. I'm so sad. I wish I wasn't abnormally tall and with the booty because I really wanted those to work. More shorts again from Boohoo. So most of these were like cheaper clothings anyway. <laughs> clothings, yes, good English. Did me no favors. Like they look all right, but again, color doesn't suit me. Another thing that was in trend for like one hour and then went out of trend, these tops. Can't do it up with the like neck part. Like why? This is not in trend anymore, is it? I don't know, is it? Like I don't think it is. It just doesn't do me any favors either. Like these types of tops don't look good on me. They kind of like go saggy. You can see like I was very online shopping happy when I bought all of these. This, I don't even know whose this is. Like it just ended up at my house. I did not buy this. Okay, and my camera just ran out of charge. Hopefully, I mean not charge, like card space. So hopefully it's okay now. This is from the Barbie Misguided collection and this is a really cool collection. Close to my heart I guess because I was totally a Barbie girl. Like I loved my Barbies growing up. And I have a really cool like nighttime robe. It's like a silky robe from that collection. And also some of the hoodie tops are really cool and like the shorts. But this top I didn't like the cut of it. I feel like it makes my chest, I makes me look like top heavy in the chest and also the sleeves are a really weird length like they come to there and it's quite like a boyish look I guess, I'm not sure, I just didn't really like it unfortunately. Maybe I could crop it or I could have tied it up but then the sleeves like oh, it's just too much whereas someone with a different figure or whatever would probably like it. So I'm getting rid of that. I bought this to wear with the Kardashian-y type belt and it ties up at the bottom. Sounds so bad but I'm, I'm just over all this crap. Seriously, like look at this. Like I didn't do that, it came like that. It's like cut, like, oh, I just, I'm just over it. Not to say you can't get good quality clothes off these online boutiques because you can, but I'm just like, I'm just over fast fashion a little bit. Kind of just like crinkly, like I have other things that's sort of tight. They've got like elasticity. This one's just a bit, eh. Man, I got rid of a lot of stuff I did not realize. <laughs> okay, this kind of has a funny story behind it. Back when I was a student, we used to go to Mexican cafe for dinner because it was really close to where I lived. This is before like Mexico and stuff opened. I'm fairly sure. We used to love going there, getting the chimichangas. And one night I went with my flatmates and they were having like a fiesta night or something. And they had one of those wheels where you can spin it and win prizes. And they were giving away like cocktail shakers. And I won a Mexican cafe t-shirt. And this has been my sleep shirt, like one of my sleep shirts for years. This is like what I like buying at hospice is a massive, like extra large men's shirt because when I've got a fresh tan on or if I just want a really cozy, like roomy sleep, I love wearing these. Like I have my slinky 90s and cute pajamas. At the end of the day, it's not like it suits me or anything and I've got some other cozier sleep shirts now so someone else can enjoy this beautiful Mexican cafe. Then I've got some socks and stuff. You have to remember, I know I forget that people shop at secondhand shops because they have a lot of children, like they have a lot of bills to pay or whatever. They genuinely just need necessities. So if I have like new socks and stuff like that, I will donate that. Because for me, it's definitely like a hobby 
thing. Like I love going and picking up bric-a-brac and you know finding bargains but there's obviously a lot of people that shop there that just need necessities. This skirt was from hospice. Look it's still got the like tag on it. Two dollars. I never wore it because it was a little well actually it was a lot bit too short for me unfortunately and I thought it was like a skirt that's why I got it but because you know the way the front sits I thought it was a skirt but it's actually just a skirt with a lining so you can imagine it was way too short for me honestly it could have been part of like a school uniform for all I know sometimes I pick up skirts like this and I swear they're from like a netball uniform or something because I love like preppy clothes but I'm not really into wearing red so that was a bit of an impulse buy I just got drawn in by the like checkers and stuff so I'll just redonate that one. Um, this is from White Fox Boutique four years ago or something. White Fox Boutique, they were such a small new online company, like not the giant they are today. All they sold was t-shirts like this. And so yeah, we did some like little promo stuff for them for some t-shirts and I've had this one ever since and it's just so funny to me like they are literally like followed by millions now and they're a huge boutique and they work with huge influencers and I'm like remember back to like that day it's so weird to think back probably could have done with the size down you know when something's like a size too big it's like too awkward to be oversized this shirt I would love to keep if it fit me right but it doesn't it's from misguided and it's one of those cropped shirts and you know you wear it with like a little fishnet tank top underneath or like high-waisted jeans and it shows off a little bit of your bralette it's like really short but for me it's like ridiculous like my nipple is sitting where the shirt is <laughs> some stuff I just think oh I really should have returned that but I'm so bad with returning stuff unless it costs me like a decent amount of money I don't even bother because New Zealand's so far away from everything next we have these slippers and this stuff was already in the car ready to go to hospice and then I had the idea to quickly film what I was donating. So I think I've left the other one of these slippers in the car. These are so cute. They're from Peter Alexander. Honestly, looking at them now, I kind of want to keep them. You guys should leave me a comment if I should keep them because I just thought, oh, I'm not getting enough use out of them. Like someone else could use them way more because I'm either not wearing slippers or I wear like my Ugg boots. Now when I look at them, I really like them because <laughs> I love cats and the lining's pink. I feel like I like that, but once I put them on, you can't see the pink part. Plus my mum got them for me, so if she watches this, she'll be cut. Because I haven't worn them yet. This thing you guys are going to be like, seriously Sally, if you just watched my try on haul from Boohoo. Because this was in it, but I have like, immediate regret. And the thing is, I tried it on with my clip and extensions in, and I think with the long hair, it was so forgiving. Like, it really softened the look out. And if I had my long blonde hair, I think I could wear this and it would not look tacky. But just the way the fabric is, it's really... Do you guys see what I mean? Like... I guess I could try to steam it, but just the overall sewing of it, it looks so cheap. It looks very cheap. Like, I love the concept of a pink puffer, but I think if I want the pink puffer, I'm just going to have to get the one from Revolve that I actually liked because it's the thing, like, quality stuff. Not always, but it generally does cost more, and if you cut corners trying to get a cheapo one, you get this. There wasn't homewares or anything in this. Often I donate homewares and other random stuff, but this was just purely clothes because I just cleared out my wardrobe. Um, also donating this bag. This was just a random bag I got sent from PR. It's completely new. At the risk of sounding like a spoiled brat, I just, I just don't really like it. Like this cord reminds me of in gym class and it smells like a gym mat so strongly. It smells of rubber. And then if you look at like it's just like had holes cut in it. It's just really random. It's definitely not my style. Like, it's not even like streetwear sporty. It's just full on sporty and I can't pull that off. But I think it's definitely a nice new condition bag for somebody who does do swimming or, you know, whatever. So I will donate that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's very random. Um, so I won't do another one if you guys didn't like it. By the way, like, what is this? What is my hair doing back here? I've got it in like a low ponytail. I was thinking too, when I donate the stuff, I could actually do a vlog of thrift shopping, what I can, because I don't know if the like cute old ladies that work there will let me film. Please leave me a comment because I love reading your guys' comments. It means the world to me. It's the best part about uploading a video is coming back and reading what you guys think and what you have to say about it. And also do subscribe and turn on the notifications bell if you have not already, because otherwise you won't see any of my stuff. I keep getting comments of people being like, why don't you show up in my subscription box? I'm like, I don't know, ask YouTube. Hope you guys have an amazing rest of the day and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.